Alright everybody, so welcome back to me being dominated in Splatoon 3. I kind of just put it down to, you know, that I am getting dominated all the time, so I may as well just call this series that I'm being dominated. Of course, obviously, as time goes on, I'm hoping that I do get a little bit better, and that I try and learn a little bit more. I feel like I'm having to learn this game all over again, I have no idea why. So obviously, yeah. I've I played Splatoon 2 quite a bit, but I never really mastered Splatoon 2 at the same time. It's so weird. How could you play a game for so long and still really not fully take it all in and properly learn? And I think it's because I did play too much with all the weapons, and the same goes for this one. But obviously, I'm hoping that I can look at all the different game styles fully appreciate strategies and stuff and find a way to really enjoy the game. I have no idea what I was saying. That made more sense in my head. I am so sorry. Um, obviously this time we are looking at the... What is it? A blaster. We're looking at a blaster and this looks and feels like a weird rocket launcher with the shortest range ever. But, I am taking our guess that this is not supposed to be... This is not one way you worry about covering turf, I'll put it that way. I kind of feel like, at the moment, it's motion control just holding you down. Maybe it's quite hard. Although I did splat someone, that's, that's good, that's impressive. Yeah, I think this is definitely a weapon that you use to... Um, cover ground again, similar to like the Gatling gun, but obviously without the charging time, so I'm hoping to run this gun. Oh, I missed that. Hey, I got so many. Well, I got, did I get two? Or was that the same person? <laughs> oh my god, they really are dominating. Whoop. Maybe that's the way to do it. Just quickly sneak up on people and get them. Maybe this is an aggressive one. Very aggressive one. I feel like I just need to sneak, not worry about where to start. Yeah, so if I stay sneakily and not worry about covering turf and know where I am. And then hopefully I can get people. Maybe not in that situation. I think I'm just because I'm shaking all over the Oh, I This is why it's such a learning curve, it depends on which weapon you're using. There is such a learning curve to the weapon as is, oops, I dropped my nunchuck. But at the same time, um, you really have to get used to your aiming. I think the problem is a lot of time, people look at Splatoon, see all the bright and pretty colours and think that this is like some kind of kids game and it's very child friendly I'll give it that it's more, to be honest it's a lot more child friendly and stuff than even Fortnite but, but yeah they see the pretty colours and they just think oh well it'd be fine it looks like fun and then they get into it like oh my god so There's a different strategy for every single one. Oh. 
feels... I don't know why, it feels a lot longer at the moment. Maybe it's because I'm running around and usually you just... I, don't, I should just leave myself. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway now. Oh, no, two Gatlings. Well, I say two Gatlings, I've got a blaster. And yeah. Right, so if I were to play a strategy, I'd be sneaky. I wonder if that fares any better. The problem is, with the Gatling gun, is that you kind of have to charge up, but that has a really decent range. I have a feeling you have to play a bit more sneaky than this one, but you do get the instant. Yeah, I was going to go. If I sneak up on people like that, I'll get people. Unfortunately, that fails, so I need to. I think if you jump up, you fail and miss the shot, you kind of go a bit People, what? Why would. I mean, I know I slowly eat it over time, but. Nobody's like inks that area at all. Nobody even bothered to try and it. They're like, I need to explore. What for? This would be a good one for it. Right, have to... ah, I don't know why that took so many shots. I think if I had the ninja perk for this, this would be good. Oh, that's what people are doing. Sneaky. Very sneaky. Doing. He's being sneaky and he's uh, crouching down and waiting for people to pass. Uh oh. He's doing the green in the teeth. I'm starting to see people's strategies here. Uh oh. Panic, I think my problem is a lot of the time I panic too much and then I don't focus and my nunchuck ends up going everywhere. Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's just, next time for the, for our third match, I'm going to be stealth there but I'm not going to panic. I'm going to take it slowly. Because I think obviously one of the tips at the same time is... And it is split quite a few there. I do think one of the tips is... Don't always go too fast. I thought sometimes... I think we, we do. We end up... A lot of people, myself included panic and then we it's like we want to be as fast as we can and some times we do not always have the weapon to do that either I think as so long as you focus on the enemy as well it'll slowly come together don't always worry about just over inking everybody else just be on your guard as well and just watch out for the people okay Slow and steady. This is what it says. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh. 
I learned that lesson a lot again yesterday. Um, oh, my uh, my daughter was watching old Coco Mellow, and then there was a uh, there was a tortoise in the air coming on it. He fell into the water, I think. Did he kill himself? <laughs> I love the PS. Oh, that's, that's good. I'm glad that somebody's working it. Darn it! It was a bomb. It was the bomb that got me. <laughs> That looks slightly better, the Zook attack <laughs> I think so. The range on it. Falling. I didn't even get him. I'm not following me on rules at the moment, I said I thought it was a Maybe if I do that, slowly work my way forward. I will be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this last uh, I Unless it's because I'm supposed to be aiming at the ground. That makes a bit of a difference in that. Maybe I'm supposed to aim at the ground. Okay. Seems to work a little bit better when I don't actually aim for the person themselves, and so long as you hit the ground, you get that little bit of a radius. Mm. Whoa! Learning curve for that one. Food for thought. Well, whenever it comes to another blaster, I'm obviously going to leave this one out. Is that my third game? I think I'm now putting it down to three game limit laptops unless I'm doing really bad and get really really now but no I'm I don't really get annoyed I'm not too worried but what I am gonna do is just learn from it because obviously in each one with each weapon I've used so far I've done about two or three matches which is obviously what I'm gonna stick to now and hopefully I, I learn a little bit if I go to another weapon, learn a little bit more, and maybe I'll get used to practicing different strategies. As of now, I'm going to leave the turf war at one here, what are we on? We're on splat zones. So obviously, I'm going to move on to splat zones now, so I'll finish this video off. So obviously, as the cool kids would say, if you're new to the channel, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and why don't you check out the next video where we do look at this weapon in Splat Zones. See if it's any better in that. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.